Welcome to Beyond Neutral. I'm your host, Paula Reed. I think of the journey of life as a road that we're driving down. We get to speed up on the straightaways, ease back on the curves, and I don't know about you, but I've certainly had the obstacle in the roadway that I never expected to see, and I had to either slam my brakes on or swerve to avoid hitting it. But whether we're talking about our careers or relationships or even just managing through life's phases, life is all about shifting and moving from one place to another. The challenge is that sometimes in trying to get from where we were to where we want to be, we can get stuck while we're trying to shift. And we land in what I call the neutral space, where we're applying old ways of thinking to new situations. Join me and some incredibly inspiring guests as we talk about what it takes to shift into gear and get to where you want to be. Because here's the deal, if you're sitting in neutral, you're going nowhere. Welcome to the end of summer episode of Beyond Neutral. Oh. Summer ends. I can hear it in everybody's voice. There's this panic to get in those last few days of whatever summer means to you, right? Uh, whatever that is. But here's the thing. This September is my absolute favorite time of year. And I always have this as much as I love the summer and it's fantastic. And I love how high energy is and the outdoors and the food and the family and the fun and all of that. By the time I get to the end of August, frankly, to be honest with you, I can't wait to be able to make that shift into September and all that September means. So, you know, if you grow up in the Northern Hemisphere, the nature of September and the cadence of way, the way that we've lived is that September is a time of new learning and a time that is marked by growth. And I want to hold that really dear, and I want to challenge you to do the same. As we go into September, if you remember as a kid, right, uh, you, September, end of August or the middle of August is when you kind of marked the growth that you had from the previous year. You got new shoes, you got new clothes, you got you, and, and so you, you marked that you had kind of outgrown all the things you had before, but you also put tools together to help you and to prepare you for this next learning process, right? You got a new backpack, you got new pencils, you got the whole thing, whatever it was. And that's really how we lived our lives for the first 20 some years uh, of our lives was this cadence of what September was. And then if you had kids, you continued that cadence and through them, you went through that same process. So as adults, the challenge I want to offer you is what do you want your growth to be? What do you want your learning opportunity to be going into September? And what are the tools you need to put together in order to do that? This is an awesome time of year to sit back and think about where you want to head, where you want to get to. What are the big things that you want to really gain knowledge in and make it you know, set an intention to do that and then take a step, whether, whatever that is. Is it being a better leader? Is it going into September and really wanting to find that balance or what that means? You know, return to work is a huge thing that's going, or return to the office is a huge thing that we're hearing out there and this push for people to get back into the office. And that's, that's causing anxiety for people. How are they going to maintain balance? What is that going to mean to them? What is your learning opportunity? As a leader, how are you going to manage uh, this, this shift in the way that people operated, okay, if that's what's happening in, on your team? Uh, as an individual contributor, how's that going to affect your life? What do you want to learn about yourself through that process? What do you want to set as an intention to grow and to evolve to that next level of mastery? Same thing as you might have done when you went from fifth grade to sixth grade or from, you know, freshman year to sophomore year. You took on a new kind of math, whatever it is, that cadence that you lived by for all of those years. How do you want to use that today to push yourself forward? OK, for me, what I have done is I've signed up to take two classes that I'm really excited about. One is a coaching certification class 
uh, on a particular area or a method of coaching that I'm really excited about. And I'm excited about it because I think it gives me some uh, personal insights as part of the process. And I'm excited to be able to apply it to my client relationships, obviously, to, to be even a more effective coach. Ongoing learning is really an Im important part of, of uh, how I think about my practice. That's one thing. And the other thing is there's a very particular part of uh, business, of business acumen that I want to become more proficient on. So I've set an intention and have aligned uh, a thought partner to help me with one particular thing that I really want to get more effective on. So those are my two intentional uh, steps forward to impact my learning and to help create mastery to the next level. The same thing that I would have done in sixth grade, I'm going to do as a professional. So I'm challenging you to do that and suggesting that this is a phenomenal opportunity to take stake of where you want to be and how you're going to get yourself there. What are the tools that you need to add to your toolbox to be a better leader, to expand your career, to gain greater uh, insight? into yourself, whatever it is, find your learning objective and then find the tools that you need to do that. And if you need help figuring out what that should be, always happy to enter into a dialogue. So that's it. Enjoy the end of the summer. Love September. Launch into learning. Okay. Do the same thing you're asking your kids to do if you have them. And if not, do what every other kid in the world is doing right now. All right. Be well. Enjoy the end of the summer. And I will see you at some point at the end of the September when we launch into a new season of Beyond Neutral. Thanks so much. Hey, thanks so much for joining us this week on Beyond Neutral. I'm your host, Paula Reed. Make sure to visit our website, www.readandco.com for this week's show notes. And if you found value in today's episode, I would appreciate you giving us a rating on Apple Podcasts or share it with a friend. Also, don't forget to subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. All of this helps to support the show. Have a great week.